are cooking. Cheeseburger egg. <laughs> And so the ingredients that you'll need is cheese of your choice, egg roll wraps, seasoning blend, butter, fish sausage, and over there we have some ground meat and the seasonings that we'll be using. Yeah. All right, y'all. So uh, we finna get this heat going. Get your get your pie ready. Yeah. Uh, either you have your butter or your non-stick butter. I mean, or your, or your non stick spray. However, you feel what I'm saying? Grease your pan. Do so as you can. <laughs> you feel me? Now we have our ground beef in our pot. Now get that, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get this to brown. All right, so now we put in our seasoned blend. Uh, I'm saying eyeball. It ain't nothing but pepper. So I think that's good. And onion. Peppers and onion. So yeah. <clears throat> so you sleeve and season blend enough. You feel what I'm saying? Why that's browning so it can get up in the get the juices, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and get get in there. You know what I mean? Get yeah. in there. So now you know what I'm saying you wanna start seasoning me. Me personally, I season mine while it's um while it's browning, you feel what I'm saying? She, uh, she after she she season hers after she strains. Uh huh. So what I usually do, I used to cook my peppers and stuff first. I usually cook my seasoning blend first, and then I put my ground meat in there. And I won't season my ground meat or nothing until I strain it because I feel like I don't want to waste my seasoning in the That's grease and stuff. Came out <laughs> I don't want to waste my seasoning and stuff in the grease. That I'm about to pour out. So you can so be lenient. Oh my bad. Oh, you she good. Said, so she, uh, so she just wait. Mm -hmm. You can be lenient with the garlic powder and the uh, onion powder, but with the slap your mama or the Tony Satris or whatever seasoning, like you feel what I'm saying that. That stuff. Yeah, that seasoning boost. Or that seasoning all. Uh, mm -hmm. That's when you start. You feel what I'm saying. If you be generous with that, you gonna have some salty food. Yeah. Then. Uh, <clears throat> You know, us is, we can't deal with the high blood pressure that you feel what I'm saying. Okay. And then, you know, you just get that in there. Get in there. And then, you know, I'll highlight y'all when we get it ready to uh, brown and ready to start. Oh, how he doing that? Let me do my stuff. Shit, ready to get it started. Bitch, I got no sense. Oh, here the plug. See this thing is hot, just like me. Boy, if you don't get. Rancing. What is rancing? It's Porsche for me. <laughs> Not 
she looked at you. Of course, Yeah, but she bark at you. Now he's transferring it back to the pot. About to get ready to stuff them egg rolls. Now we on to the stuffing. Now we on to the stuffing. All right, guys. So this is what I'm pairing you with. We're going to pair it with some rice and some broccoli and this little gravy. So basically like beef and broccoli. But we're not going to put any beef since the egg rolls will already have the meat inside. So what I do is I'm just going to turn my fire on. I'm going to turn it on four. And then I'm going to add my water. And for this recipe, I'm going to use a cup of chicken broth because I like my water to have a little, I mean, my rice to taste like something. And so to get it boiling, we're just going to add a little, it's really nothing coming out of here. So don't think I'm shaking a lot, but hell, let me get this other one. Out to the water so the water can begin to boil. All right, guys, so now that I have my water walling, I'm, go water walling, I'm go going to put my rice inside the pot. And now I'm going to continue to let it boil for about two minutes. And then I'm going to reduce my heat to low and let it boil or cook down for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, but then you got your spoon. So you scoop your little bit out. Can really eyeball it. Me, I like to put like a little a scoop in the half. Cause don't nobody want a little small egg roll. You feel what I'm saying? I like mine's loaded, busting out the bando. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And you get your cheese. Put that on there. Get that nice locked and loaded in there. You want your cheese to pull apart. When you pull it, put it, put Dang, it that's real part. cheesy. Yeah, that's how you want it, right? That's how you, that's how you, you feel what I'm saying? I don't need the water yet, so you fold it in. You can come down with the top. Got your little envelope. Fold. Fold. Keep folding. Till you got that right there. Get your little finger wet. Seal off the envelope, and then you roll it. Shit. That look that that really worked out for you. You didn't think it was gonna come out good. No, I did. I did. You made them before, but I'm just saying. Uh. With the new ones, cause last time you had to get some else. Uh. It's, it's all the same. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> all right guys so next i'm going to cut up my veggies and these of course don't go in the egg rolls but this is just to go along with the meal so we're not necessarily doing a tutorial on this we're just including it in the video so i cut this big chunk off because it allows the broccoli to separate easier so then i just go in and i just cut my broccoli off by chunks and then once i do that then literally i just pull them apart y'all so just finished chopping up the green onion and then we got D in the cut, still rolling up the egg rolls. Y'all, I had amnesia for a second. I was about to say breakfast tacos, but don't mind. All right, guys. So for my sauce, all I did was melt some butter. I'm going to throw some green onion in there and just get them to start cooking so we can get that flavor to start rolling in. So gonna let this simmer for about one to two minutes and then we're going to add our 
squished and stuff. I'm sorry. I had another amnesia moment. I had to read the thing. So, this comes out super duper, super, super duper slow. So, usually I have to get the back of it. Next, what we're going to do is add some soy sauce. And both of these, oh, this is a new one. So, let me open it up really quick. Okay guys, so now what I'm doing is I'm adding my soy sauce. And if you know, soy sauce has a very distinct taste. And also, um, oyster sauce does too. So next, in order to sweeten up the taste a bit, because right now we just have savory and sour, because soy sauce is very sour to me in my opinion. I'm going to add some brown sugar and I'm also going to add water. And after that, I'm just going to add some cornstarch to thicken up this. All right, y'all, the first egg rolls came out. Yes, sir. Yeah. How long you put them in the air fryer for? You put them in the air fryer on 390. 390, okay. For eight minutes. For eight minutes. Okay. It ain't hard. You just set the thing to degrees for 390. Yep. And put the timer on eight minutes. Exactly. And I'm that's what you do. You. Okay, I'm coming to some, check. Some, some people. All right, coming to check because some people are visual learners, like you said. No, the light was that way. It's not. It's not giving what needs to be given. Well, I, it's not giving what needs to be given. It's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give. It's not for you. It's for the it's for Okay. The okay. 390. 390. And how long? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, just like that, right? Just like that. Splash. Let me open this door up for Porsche because I'm about to kill her. Watch this, watch this. She's very well trained. Kill her, Porsche. Kill her. Well, I can't say it one time. Boy, because she loves to see me. So if y'all don't know, my dog loves you love me. To see you see that little piece of light when you just get on it. My dog loves me. And she's obsessed with me. Darian says she's not well trained, but I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to show y'all how she is well trained. All right, guys. So now my broccoli has finished cooking, and I'm just going to pour the excess water off of it. So basically straining it. Ooh, y'all see that steam? And after I finish doing this, then I'm going to bring it and transfer it to this pot and I didn't care about the excess water because water is not oops as y'all can see I'm definitely not left handed all right and now what we're gonna do is just mix this up together and we're going to let this cook for another five minutes cook down and get all mixed in together and then I'm just gonna add my cornstarch to thicken it up and this sauce is finished. All right, y'all, so currently I'm plating the food and Darian had to make some alternative things because he made these super fat egg rolls. So as y'all can see, these are the hamburger egg rolls, right? But he made some super fat egg rolls and they bust through the wrap. You know, we should have put them in right then and there. Yeah, and so they didn't get soggy. So they got soggy at the bottom, the big fat ones, and they tore apart. So he had to make crustables. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so now this is the finished product. Y'all know we extra. I be seeing the people plate the food, so guess what? I decided to plate the food. Oh, wait, wait, you're not getting the right angles. Bam. That's it right there. These are the money shots. The money shots. 